May 15th, 2018, and instead of one of my typical hunting fishing videos, we're going to do something a little different, mushroom hunting today. We're going with some friends from Marion, Montana Fire Department, and they tell me that the best mushroom picking for morels is at the site of previous wildland burns. So my friends in the fire department know where the best burns were from last year, and we're gonna go see if we can find some mushrooms. Just in case, I do have my bear tag with me, and it's still bear season. So, if I get a chance to hunt morels and bears, I'm going to do it. Otherwise, mushroom hunting. Wish us luck. Here we are, our little caravan. I've got uh, Katie Mast and Matt, the chief of uh, Marion, and her boyfriend, and another couple with us. And we're going to hit some of the places where the um, wildfires burned last year. And uh, quite a trek to find this mushrooming area. We take this serious. A lot of burn last year. Last year was a uh, bad fire year here in Montana. So good mushroom year, but uh, this year, but last year was a bad burn year. This is my professional mushroom guy, <laughs> Katie Mast, also known as the fire chief of Marion. But today, mushroom guy. So we can't, we can't tell you guys where we are. <laughs> this is Sylvan Lake. Um, oh, you blew how, it, <laughs> Sylvan Lake. That's okay. See how new it is up there? Yeah. It's just coat. So, how many fires did we have here, Katie? Um. I don't know how many we had last year, but this is 25,000 acres. 25,000 yeah. acres. Can you see? Can you hold the camera up there so you can see? Yeah. So here's the enemy, <laughs> more mushroomers. That's bad, we oh, want that's, this all to ourselves. Here's the mushroom picking crew, <laughs> and they are experts. Got them already. Nice. Yeah. Oh, they're all over the place here. Oh yeah, plenty of them. So, Matt, do you just like go to the base and pull it I out? I go to the base and squeeze them off. Because when you pull the stem out there, pull, just pull it out, surely. See how it's got the, all that dirt? Where's your bag? I squeeze it off, so you just got the, the clean part. So that's what a bag of mushrooms looks like. They got four of them. I say they, not me, because I lost my camera at the beginning of the mushroom hunt. All there. day. Looking for the camera, no mushrooms. Katie, Matt, Cheryl, Gary did fantastic. Four bags like that. So, I'm not going to end the video now because I didn't get to do too much videoing. Lost the camera. And I'm um, going to try and get uh, one or two more days in before I send this clip in. Monday, May 21st, I'm going to make another attempt at finishing the mushroom film I started last week on Tuesday. I think it was the 15th I went. And yes, early on into my mushroom hunt, I lost my camera. But at the end of the day, we found it and you missed the action of finding a mushroom and picking it up. <laughs> Not a lot of action, but still it was a good time. I'm gonna try one more time today. I'm gonna to go over to the, uh, I don't know if it's Fish and Wildlife or uh, National Forest Office. I don't know the name of it. I'll, I'll find out when I get there. And they have a permit if you're going to pick up a certain amount of mushrooms. And I think it was over five gallons. I'll find out when I get there. Um, and some maps of where some of the uh, recent burns were. But I'm going to try a different area this time. I'm going north of town, about an hour, and see what I can find. And uh, hopefully the National Park Service can give me some helpful tips. So I stopped by the uh, State Forestry Office and they were very helpful. And I'm in Stillwater State Forest, a uh, beautiful area. 
love Montana. And we're gonna look for the site of some previous fires, last year's fires. And that's where the mushrooms are best, mushrooming. I'm um, about uh, 30 miles south of the Canadian border, I believe, 20 miles south. Um, yeah, so drive up there, get changed, and see what we can find. Mom, Dad, and the kids out for a walk. Where's the little guys? They're cute. Let's see if I can find them. There they are. Those parents have the best family outing because the kids don't have to keep stopping to pee. They just pee in the pond. Lucky dogs. All right, let's go find those mushrooms. Okay, pretty good sign. I'm in the right area. Look at these signs here. No commercial mushroom picking. And mushroom information. So, let's go see what it says here. All right. Types of permits, I just checked. I don't need a permit. Under a gallon I'm gonna collect. And I'm just gonna review the map here and then we'll get going. And after the mushroom sign, here's the other sign we want to see. Burned area ahead. That's where the shrooms are. Time to get changed and hit it. I think I found the spot, but can you believe as I drove here, I passed several cars? Can you imagine that? I thought I would have this whole place to myself. Dang, don't they know that we're coming here to mushroom hunt? Okay, I've changed my official mushrooming attire on, and this is the spot. There's the burn. And this was not as difficult to get to as the place that we went um, last week. And I heard there were a lot of people up here, so it might be kind of picked out, but um, we'll see what we can do. So... You want an indication that you might be a little bit late to the party and it might be a little bit picked out. Um, about 15 miles from the Canadian border in the middle of a wilderness on a logging road around the fire cuts. Place to start looking for shrooms. And what do I find? <laughs> uh, animal crackers from kids from the weekend. Yeah, this is going to be a tough pick, but I'll try it anyway. Well, not too good so far. Um, I think this area might be uh, picked out pretty good, but we'll see. One of the things I'm looking for, um, Katie Mass taught me, was these little mushrooms here. That's a sign where these grow, the others also grow. These are not, I guess, are not edible and I don't look for them. But... If I had these mushrooms, I should have the morels in the same area. Now, as you can see, these guys are all over the place. No morels. So, I think that's uh, the way it's going to be today, but that's okay. That's what I get for losing my camera back when I was inundated with mushrooms. But, um, so be it. Look for a little while longer and that'll be it. Even after wildfire, forest is never dead. Look at these guys. How hard these guys are working. They're just screaming along there. I don't know if you can see them. That's the busiest I've ever seen ants. All over the place. They're like running back and forth. Construction, I guess. Post-fire construction on the forest floor. Well, these guys are a little too young here, but just to show you it wasn't a complete failure. There they are. How small by my fingernail? Morels, right there. And then again, when you see a couple, you see a bunch more. So, 
they're too small. We're going to leave these guys for the next person. But at least we know we're in the right area. So this is the goal. Here's what I was looking for and I uh, found a couple pockets of them. I've almost reached my limit for the day, so I might be done. A gallon is what I'm allowed. And um, here we are on the edge. You can see where the burn area is. And then on the edge of the burn area, and there they are. Right here, 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 over there. See, what happens is you run into little pockets of them all of a sudden. And that's them. So, that's who we're looking to find right there. That's the morel. Got my gallon of morels for the day. Time to go home. Happy camper. And here's another little pocket of morels I found. And that's about what I get when I find a small pocket of them. Pick that little pocket and move on to the next. So that's the end of the mushroom picking for today. But I had a great day. Um, I'm coming over here now, I see a nice rub. Deer rub. And this is how it works, you know. I'm out in the woods. I found deer, well deer everywhere, but I found deer uh, droppings, elk and moose, uh, moose scat. I got rubs from deer everywhere and I found a big rub from an elk. So it's always scouting, mushroom picking, huckleberry picking, fishing, I'm looking for hunting spots, hunting, I'm looking for fishing spots. I'm just immersed in this uh, all year long and I absolutely love it. Good for the head. I think sometimes for retired guys, it gives you something to focus on to fill that void after retirement. I've been very happy with what I do outdoors. And for my brothers and sisters that are still working, um, the peace, uh, I can find great focus and yet great relaxation and peace at the same time. These outdoor pursuits, um, I can push myself physically as far as I want to, but never have to worry about somebody else getting hurt because I either couldn't accomplish a task or, you know, just, just stress-free. Um, great feeling of accomplishment. And the bonding when I'm with the guys and girls on any of these outdoor adventures um, reminds me of being around the kitchen in the firehouse. Fills that uh, camaraderie. And also... Um, being able to push yourself to an edge, hiking, you know, as far as I hike or up the side of a mountain or whatever I'm doing, I can put that edge in it to push myself wherever I want to go. You know, um, always cautions necessary, you know, kind of keeping it real a bit, that there's something at stake if you don't do what you're supposed to do when you're out here. And altogether, it's been the closest thing I can find to the firehouse and it works for me. So thanks for watching again. Things are good, and I guess next will be a fishing trip in June.